I really like this part of the map. It's cool. I'll run down slightly overgrown, some, some crumbling walls and such. I kind of like that uh, post-apocalyptic feel. I wonder if this would be a good spot on the map, a good, a good side of the map to play on solos. Maybe maybe it would lead to less third parties because I've only been playing the big city. Got a bass piece. Chat, let's see if it still holds up. Oh, I stopped shooting because I thought he should have been dead. Still got him though. You got a mic? You, you'll notice a lot of the same building structures from Al Mazda here, like this one. This was a one of those, I, I, I call them trailer buildings. I don't know if it's actually a trailer, but there were a few of these scattered around Al Mazda. And being inside them, it feels a little bit larger. Now, I showed you guys the door handles on some of the on some of the other doors that were at my character's like like nipple. I mean, imagine a door handle at your nipple. Like that's that's a huge door, and and some of them are in the right spot. They have some doors crafted specifically for this map. But uh, some of the old doors, it looks like they took straight from Almazra to this map, have door handles like at your character's chest level. And so not only is Al uh, is Urzikstan, 20% smaller than Almazra, our characters are also 20% smaller. And that that might be a reason why everything feels so open is because what if, what if originally we were supposed to be larger on the map? So if, if we're a little bit larger, we'd be moving faster across these distances. And so it would feel like like really cover to cover fights more often than just wide open spaces. I, I don't know, Chad, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just theorizing here. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to take a step into the game dev's head and see what's going on. And also, if they if the map was that much smaller and then they make us as the character smaller, it would make the map feel bigger to us. You know, so I could, I could see why they did that. Uh-oh, shots. There it is. Done. Why would you repeak? Why? Chat, this is the ADS build. I took everything off of bullet velocity. I, I've got... Hold on, just take a look. Take a look at this thing, chat. Everything on to ADS speed. There's there's no no bullet velocity attachments. It's as it's probably about as fast ADS as you can make. It's still kind of slow, you know, but but for a one-shot sniper, it's not too bad. Basically hit scan on that guy I just sniped. Uh, remind me to show you guys the loadout after this match. No, bro, he's right there. Dang, dude, you almost got me. Almost is your biggest mistake, though. Should have finished me when you had the chance, because you ain't getting another one. You hear me, buddy? You hear me, buddy? Where you at, buddy? <laughs> he was scared, Chad. Yeah, he was scared. He almost had me, too, but that's a little bit more of a timid player, and he didn't, he didn't make the push when he had me. Done. I got two UAVs in pocket. Dang. All right, I'm gonna have to drop the smokes. I, I gotta get the heartbeat sensor, chat. I forgot how OP this thing was. I, I gotta keep that in mind for solos, for solos specifically. In squads, it's it's gonna slow you down too much. You don't you don't really want to use it in squads. But in solos, going house to house, clearing rat to rat, this isn't a bad play. Just like the good old for dance days. A little crane positioning wouldn't be bad here. We make it without getting zapped. The UAV. Looks like I'm pretty clear. Targets are KIA. Well done. Oh, there's like no cover up here though. Can you not get into that little bucket area? And you can't get in here either. All right, this this level has the most cover. Giving up some height. Oh, a little fishy. Somebody zapped him. Somebody bopped him. Another sniper. Another Spartan sniper. <laughs> Almost sniped that guy's face on the picture. <laughs> no! Bro, I swear I saw some movement over there. Oh, too far. There goes my selfie, bro! I don't want to use my UAV. Um... I must be swimming up under there. 
I think chat stacking extra selfies and solos might be a a solid play as well. Let's see what we got. Did he kill the other one? That's what I was trying to wait for. down that guy twice chad that other spartan because i don't maybe it was just this first time but he got him but he took him out bro movement's so crazy are you seeing him slide past this That's game. Chat movement is faster than it's ever been. I mean, have you, have you guys, when you're watching somebody else mantle, it happens so fast that their character animation is just instantaneously like they just appear there. Just, oh, okay, guys. Here is the cat AMR sniper rifle build. You'll notice I've got the short barrel an ADS speed laser, the ADS speed, ADS speed tactical stock pad. Uh, same thing, the, the bolt is for the rechambering speed. Everything about this build is for speed. The phantom grip, sprint to fire and ADS speed. You can see all the stats on here. Uh, you do have to level the gun a little bit to get some of these attachments, of course. I don't know if this is the fastest ADS speed build out there, but I just put on a, every ADS speed attachment I could find. It's it's not the snappiest sniper ever. It's not like the Car 98 back in Verdansk, but this thing, uh, I, I've tried the velocity build that's really slow on the ADS. It feels heavy and clunky, and I can't tell a difference in the velocity between this one and that one. So I think the velocity attachments, they're, they're not even worth it. Just build it for speed, get your headshots, boom, dead.